Everton Football Club have been deducted 10 Premier League points for the breaches of Premier League profit and sustainability laws. I think it's an absolute disgrace and today they're returning to the football pitch for the first time since the deduction as they take on Manchester United at Goodison Park. It's been a really tough week for Everton during the international break with the points deduction but they could not pick a better team to go back to action against. Manchester United have been poor all season and there is a chance for Everton to make noise in the stands and on the pitch. The result. If you guys are enjoying the vlogs, Make sure to smash the like, hit that big red subscribe button down below and time to get off to Goodison Park to support Everton against the Premier League and the red side of Manchester. Well, we're on our way to Goodison Park. We have touched down here in Liverpool and we're on our way to celebrate Premier League corruption. We're here with Damo. Uh, we are ready uh, for today's game. I mean, there's so much going on. There's a big protest outside before the match. There's obviously the cards saying Premier League corruption, which will be raised at the anthem, which is going to be booed, as well as in the 10th minute. And I also think there's the Gladys Street end are planning something as well. Uh, so I'm very, very much excited to see this because the Premier League are corrupt as hell. And don't worry, Everton fans, City fans, got you back and we hopefully our lawyers will be able to prove that uh, when we get our charges dished out to us for our 115 ones um but everton they're playing a manchester united team have not played well all season and in the games that they've won they've only just won they've squeaked past fulham sheffield united brentford to name a few they've lost some really bad games as well and ultimately were destroyed by city at old trafford arsenal at the emirates tottenham at tottenham so this is everton's chance to really, really rub salt in Ten Hag's wounds and get themselves a big three points after being deducted 10. Obviously, lose some one yesterday. Sheffield United are poor. Also, you couldn't think of a better season for Everton to get a point deduction than this one because there are three teams, arguably four, around them that are definitely worse than the Toffees. So I think Everton are staying up even despite the deduction. Well, we're here. Is, is this your first time to go to some part for a match, Dee? No, I've been here a few times before, but I've not been here for a while. Been here for a while. Looking forward to it. Go on, what's your prediction for today? I think it's going to be a 2 2 draw. 2 2 draw? I feel I'll take that. A 2 2 draw. Would no. you take it? I'll take a 2 2 draw. I'm here to support the Toffees. Come on, Everton, because. Come on, uh, United. No, come on, Everton today, uh, because obviously the deduction, very, very harsh on the Toffees just to be given them straight away. Uh, but like I said, there are four teams worse than Everton this season, I think the Toffees will stay up and I think they're going to bounce back today from everything that's going on with the protests outside with the crowd they are going to be up for it today the Evertonians especially the Gladys Street end I'm going with a 3-1 win to Everton here at Goodison Park I think Man United have been so so poor this season have been lucky to get the wins that they did been unlucky with some of the losses but today Everton are winning this game we're here at Goodison Park we have got our sausage and fries it's time to nail it here we go I'm excited for this. It's proper, as Damon said, proper football squadness, isn't it? Nice pie. Mm. What have we got? What pie have we got? This is lovely, actually. Very hot. Cheese onion. Banging. Nine out of ten. I'm going to give it a nine. Well, we're here at Goodison Park. We have got our corruption flyers and we are ready to see what Everton have got to play. So it's already given us instructions on the back. So we've got to put this key, uh, put this card up uh, when the Premier League anthem's playing and as well as in the 10th minute. So hopefully there's no gaps. So we're giving them outside because obviously the club can't put them inside the stadium. Otherwise they're subject to more charge, especially from the Premier League. Uh, so all the lovely people outside, we're giving them to everybody. I think Damo got about two or three. So we are here. We're supporting Everton. Uh, to, well, I'm supporting Everton today uh, because we, we can't stand for Premier League corruption. And the that they've just been distributed this minus 10 point deduction I think it's an absolute disgrace so Everton we're standing with you today I'm standing by my 3-1 score prediction come on Everton this is the noise as the board is being put up damo has got his card as well flipping out this is going to be one hell of an atmosphere two minutes before the game kicks off and this place is absolutely packed I've never seen it so full 15 minutes ago and the only empty seats are in the United away end Roy Keane's having a look at the uh, having a look at the size he doesn't understand it does he <laughs> he's a wind up merchant isn't he here we go Woo! this atmosphere is absolutely phenomenal the TIFOs are getting ready and the cards are ready of course the TIFOs here in the Gladys Street end will fight with all our might for the boys in the Royal Blue jersey where there is power, greed and money, there is corruption. I stand by that. And a yellow Premier League corruption badge as well. And it really is the spirit of the Blues to get behind their team. Sirens go off and Zed Car's about to be played. And the teams are ready to enter this Goodison Cathedral. 
standing against the Premier League. The car begins to play. The pink surrounds this magnificent arena. Gamos on board. I'm on board. This is it. Past the Premier League side, please ring around. It's now time for the anthem. Here we go. The Premier League anthem is being played. The host is talking over it, doing the teams. But the sea of pink is waved around Gunnison. The Premier League board goes back in, a massive flag greeting it of our banners and the pink banners with corruption writ on it. There we go then, it's Everton versus Man United. An absolute raucous good as some part. I'm looking forward to the 10th minute. Come on Everton, get this result, bounce back. Will kick us off. We're off to the booze of Goodison. Here we go. Well, we're in our old stadium. Poor Damo and this lad next to him is getting leaked on from the drains above. Oh my days. <laughs> oh my god. I've just yeah, seen yeah. an unbelievable goal from <laughs> Alejandro Barracho. What a goal that was. A cross came in for Dalla and he's, he's overhead kicked it into the back of the net, into straight into the top corner. No chance for Pitford. Awful start for Everton. Not even before the 10th minute. Two minutes up taken. Wow, what a goal. What a goal that was. That's all the United fans you can hear now. What? Oh my days. That was brilliant. Oh, just hats off. Got them into way here. Checks back. Straight at Oh nah, That's a good chance for Everton. Everton look good on this right hand side. Luke Shaw just come back from injury as well. That is their chance. Cavalier. Nice little sort of cut back. Just straight at Oh nah, nah, Bit of a poor effort. Here we go. The 10th minute has come. And the cards are up all the way around the stadium for the points deduction. Who's ring round Goodison Park? There's currently fireworks going off around the stadium. If you can hit, I'm sure you heard that one flipping heck. It is all going off today. The United were really dominant in the first like six to seven minutes. Well, first ten we'll say. And then Everton have really dictated and won that second ball back quite a lot since then. They look dangerous on their right. The United look vulnerable on their left. That's how a goal's gonna come across, but a super, super goal separates the two sides at the moment. Some fans screaming for a yellow card here. It is all just Going over a little bit. It's a bit of a nasty one. Not for the referee. I think the referee's going to keep his cards in his pocket at this early in the game. The annoyance of the Everton fans who have got the cards back up of corruption. I love it. The corruption chance start and the cards are back up. Garnacho literally kicks the ball away after he gives away a free kick. He wasn't booked, but the who was protesting was. Some decisions, man. I don't get it. Corner for Everton. And it comes. Oh, Calvin Lewin. It's a good chance, but it's straight. At Onana. That's an either corner, it's 1-1. One, one. Great corner in, Calvert Lewin three. Gets, what a jump that was. Gets above everybody else, but the header just goes straight at Onana, who's fortunately uh, clutched it into his arms. Good chance for Everton. Onana, brilliant save, oh, and it's cleared off the line. How have Everton not scored? The chance has gone begging, but they may have another one here. That's the oh! one gone again, he just passes it to Garnacho. Oh my God. You know what, they should have scored. Brilliant save from Alana. Gets up, makes another brilliant save. Fall on Rashford. Decore! Oh, and he spooked it wide and he knows that's a sitter. That's been absolutely magnificent. Man United just can't deal with this. Every time they start passing the ball around the back, they just lose it. And Everton come at them. This time it's Rashford caught in possession. Ball was played across. Decore, if he puts that in the side of the net, it's in. And he did put that. Oh, he's just spooned it wide. Another good chance for the Toffees. This place is rocking. Another Everton corner from another Man United mistake. Making mistakes left, right, and centre, but that's another good tackle. Maybe Calvert Lewin. He's made a mistake, Lindelof. Maguire. Brilliant defender from Aaron Maguire. He's been the best player on the pitch. That's a good ball. Maybe they score just before half time. Oh, it's another good chance. They've got to do better. Four brilliant chances for Everton. All four of them should have been a goal. Two for Calvert Lewin, one for Decore, maybe three. Can't remember the other one. That was probably four. Lewin again. Plays it off, Decore, surely, oh, it's another sitter. How are Man United getting away with it? Take that five. Man United just cannot pass the ball around the back. They keep messing it up, they keep losing it in silly areas, and Everton have got them. They just can't finish. That's literally the story of the first half. Half time, booze ring round at half time, mainly to the man in black. But I'll tell you what, the boys in blue have given it everything. And that man in red down there has scored one of the best goals I've ever seen live. It's a reception for the referee at half time. To be honest, some of his decisions have been a bit, a bit poor. I won't say all, but most. 
Okay, so there we go, half time here at Goodison Park, and it is Everton 0, Manchester United 1. Now, let's go through the stages of the game, and of course, it started off with one of an unbelievable goal from Alejandro Garnacho. Brilliant ball in for Diego Dollar, but that finish, that's one of the best bicycle kicks I've seen live. That's probably one of the best goals I've seen live, but unfortunately, it's come to Man United. Well, but I'll tell you what, Everton since then have been the better team. Man United trying this football round the back, it is not working, and they need to stop doing it. It's not the way that they, that they need to play. To, to win this match they keep losing the ball Rashford keeps losing the ball I tell you what Harry Maguire has been the best player on the pitch every single thing that he's gone for whether it be a tackle or a header or a defensive interception he has come through and he has been Man United and the, and the best player on the football pitch today but I tell you what Everton have had five unbelievable chances to score these weren't average chances that could have gone in these are sitters two brilliant double saves from Onana that third one's got to go in Decore's one Calvert-Lewin's two headers from him there's five and, and there's probably more than that but it should be five one to Everton that's how poor Man United have been at the back except for Harry Maguire he single-handedly is saving this Man United team they look lost going forward but I'll tell you what special moment separates these two teams can Everton find the goal well if it's as good as on our shows well they may do it's not me being a bit of blue as well Man United have been absolutely awful again but I'll tell you what that goal was unbelievable Leverton have not started the second half well Man United have started it like the way that they started the first half not good for Everton but United dominating United are in Martial of course it's not a Man United match with Bruno whining at the referee Checking it. Well, we can see Roy Keane, he thinks it's a penalty. It's a very, very long check, still ongoing here. Again, Bruno surrounded the referee. Let's go and have a look at it. This might be game over. This might be a penalty, and this might be game over. It's a very, very, very long check. And the referee's been at the monitor. No yellow card, it's a penalty to Manchester United. Here they are. Penalty. Jasper Young again is lucky to be on the pitch to be honest. There was a couple of challenges in the first half, but probably should have gotten the yellow card. Let's have a look at it. Live reaction. Everton fans are not happy with it. Ooh, I don't know. I think it's soft. I think it's a pen. Here we go. Game on the line here. Can Pickford pull one off? The Michael Jackson then against England colleague Jordan Pickford. Bounce it into the net. Good penalty for Rashford. But uh, Everton can't complain because they've had the chances. Whether it's a penalty or not, and you don't think it is or you do think it is, Everton have had five golden opportunities in the first half to score and they've not really got out of the blocks in the second. And Man United have a good ball threaded through to Anthony Martial. Long deliberation whether it's a penalty or not. There'll still be questions asked on social media. VAR at it again with the overall. Yeah, Max Rashford put the penalty away well, but Everton have had the chances today. Bit of respite, that's a nice ball. And it comes from McNeil, and it's another chance gone begging. I think it was an interception that one, but I'll tell you what, Everton's final ball or final shot, it's just not there, is it? Red head in the way. Maybe a shot coming from. Oh, wow. What's that? I, don't, I, don't, I, I think the guy behind me uh, has put it perfectly, and Man United win the ball back. Crosses to the back stick. Oh, what a miss. And they thought he was in. He's got an actual denied his second. What a miss. In the 70th minute, and people are genuinely going. Look, 71. I mean, Everton could score two goals, they're not, but they could. And Martial walks in number three. Brilliant goal. They caught them on the break. Lovely from Palestri. Pulls it back. Great ball from Bruno. Martial one on one. Chips it into the back of the net. And they caught them. And they have absolutely rinsed them on the break in the second half. Man United was so bad in the first half, but I'll tell you what, in the second half, they've been actually quite good. There's a good goal from, uh, from Martial. Uh, two good goals and a penalty. Well, one very good goal and a penalty, and then this one. So. Last game, Everton fans leaving. People heading for the exits here at Goodison Park and ultimately it responds to the attack. Five sitters in the first half, zero goals. There's no way this game should be 3 0. Not a chance, not on what I've seen, but I tell you what, United have been so clinical. Brilliant first goal from Garnacho, unbelievable bicycle kicking, and that one was just a killer goal as well. And uh, Everton have missed five sitters in that first half, haven't really got going in the second half, and have been punished by United. Mikalenko's just hit the crossbar from about four yards out. All he's got to do is slide it into the back of the net and just hits it too hard, it just sums it up. That's for a yellow army, it's just everywhere I look, it's just.
yellow everywhere. Well, it's going to be a Manchester United win here at Goodison Park. And I tell you what, Everton will be really severely disappointed in the performance and the fact that they just could not score today. On another day, this could have been 5 3, honestly. But Man United have been ruthless in that second half. And that Garnacho goal. <laughs> there we go, that's it. It's Everton 0, Manchester United 3. James Tarkovsky doing a full lap of Goodison Park. Referees being booed. I'm in. He looks at that for a while. Can't really have any complaints. If he's looking that long, he should be getting it right. There are three of them looking at it, remember. But uh, what a wonderful win it is for Man United, unfortunately. The City fan hates it. But to win 3-0 and not play well, no supporters are delighted. But Everton, not good enough from them in the front three and in the forward areas. Well, full time here at Gunnison Park and after being drip dropped on from the leaking pipes the whole match it is finished Everton 0 Manchester United 3 now let's start at the beginning an unbelievable bicycle kick for Garnacho to meet that on the volley as good as he did to, to accurate as he did one of the goal the goal of the season by far one of the best goals I have seen unfortunately it's come from a player in the red side of Manchester and not the player <laughs> it was absolutely mad anyway uh, Everton had five chances in the first half to get themselves level Calvert-Lewin having two brilliant heading opportunities and Decore dragging a shot wide they've had multiple multiple chances and could have gone in a half time 5-1 up they went in for 1-0 uh, down but they could come out they could give it their all uh, but Man United outrun them in the second half but Man United looked finally got some style of football going in that first half they were knocking it round the back they were clueless they were losing the ball Everton were coming at them but in the second half they knocked that straight out and ultimately got Everton and played counter-attacking football and ultimately played it very, very well. Brilliant ball from Bruno, Fred and Bruce, Anthony Martial, who was fouled uh, and ultimately Marcus Rashford stepped up, put away the penalty and then that combination again. Bruno, brilliant work from Palastri. He looks a talented youngster to be fair to the lad. Brilliantly ball through from Bruno to Martial who clipped in number three. And Manchester United win this. I'd love to see Everton's expected goals, especially in that first half, but Man United get the win. Three goals to nil. What wonders it'll do for Ten Hag and the Red Devils. Uh, but disappointing for Everton very disappointing especially in that final third no finishing product and that may cost them and it's I thought they'd maybe bounce back today after the point deduction but it wasn't to me so that's it then I'm going to some park if you guys have enjoyed the video make sure to smash the like subscribe down below a bit of a carnage game of football and obviously big protest uh, following Everton's point deduction Man United running out 3-0 winners on another day that could have been 5-3 to Everton but yeah great game of football to watch make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one peace out from Goodison